Welcome back everybody. In this video, we're going to be approaching and starting dealing with related rates questions. This question I pulled out of an online textbook, which um, in this case, we're going to be dealing with circle areas. The radius R of a circle is increasing at a rate of 4 centimeters per minute. Find the rates of change of the area when A, R is equal to 8 centimeters and B, R is equal to 32 centimeters. So when dealing with related rates questions, such as this type of question, always draw yourself a model of what the word problem is describing. In this case, it is being described as a circle, a circle with radius R and with a center of O. And with this, we're told how the circle's radius is increasing. So the circle's radius, dr over dt, is equal to 4 centimeters per minute. And what this is telling us is, how is the radius of the circle changing when time, represented by t, is changing? It is changing at 4 centimeters per minute. 4 centimeters being the change in radius, the minute being a change in time. And now we want to find the first part of the question. What are the rates of the change of area? Well, when dealing with related rates questions, always make yourself an equation which represents all the components of the question, no matter the rates of change. In this case, what is the area formula for a circle? Well, the area formula for a circle is pi r squared. And taking the derivative of, of this equation will give us the related rates in respect to both area and radius. Hence, if we use the chain rule, dA over dt is equal to pi times 2r times dr dt, as by the chain rule. And the reason why we do this is because both the area and the radius of the triangle are variables that are changing when time is changing. Therefore, when we take the differentiation on both sides, we're taking the differentiation in respect to time because we want to find how are the area and radius changing when time is changing. And to take the derivative on both sides in respect to time, and since r and a are both independent functions of time, we must apply the chain rule to dif differentiate it as such. Now, what we can now do is that we can apply our given values. We're told that the dr over dt is 4. So dA over dt is the same thing as 2 pi r times 4, or 8 pi r. And with this, we can find the area change no matter when the radius is equivalent to some certain measurement. So in the first part, when the radius is equal to 8 centimeters, how is the area changing? Well, just simply apply it when r is equal to 8. To get 8 times pi times 8, which is equal to 64 pi centimeters squared, Per minute, meaning that when the radius is equal to 8 centimeters, the area of this circle is changing at a rate of 64 pi centimeters squared per minute. And for part B, we just apply 32 for r instead of 8. So d over dt, when r is equal to 32, will be equal to 8 times pi times 32, which is the same thing as 256 pi centimeters squared per minute, meaning that when the radius is equal to 32 centimeters, the area of this circle will be changing at a rate of 256 pi centimeters squared per minute. And that will be the solutions to this related rates question. Well, this related rates question is a very easy and intermediate form and leveled question. We will be tackling much more advanced and difficult questions in the future. But for now, I hope that you got a good understanding and introduction to how to approach related rates questions such as this.